Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to learn about the file based data input process. In short, the FBDI process. First, let us understand what is a BDI and why do we use a BDI? To answer this question, it's basically an inbound data migration or integration strategy to upload or push data in bulk into Oracle Fusion Financials Cloud. Now, let us set the agenda for this topic. First, we will see the FBDI process and the steps associated with this process. In addition to that, we will see what all data objects can be used for migration or integration using a BDI process. The list can be found in fusionapps oer.oracle.com. Here, we will consider journal import as the case study for this BDI process. Now, let's look at the flow diagram depicting all the steps in a BDI process and we are going to perform all these steps manually for importing journals. So the very first step is to download the file import template from fusion apps oer.oracle.com. Then we will have to fill data in the template and generate the zip containing the CSV data file. We have to take that zip and upload into UCM server basically the universal content management server. Then we have to submit a scheduled job called load interface file for data import to import the data into interface table. Now if the process succeeds we have to submit another program called import journals to import data from the interface table into application table. But if it fails we have to pause the data and upload the corrected data file into UCM again and repeat the process of submitting load interface file for data import program. Now if the program fails at import journals level then we have to correct the data in the interface table using ADFDI spreadsheet. But if it succeeds the data will be there in the application table. So this is the process of a BDI the file based data import. So now we are going to see and perform all these steps manually. So first we will go to fusionapps.oer.oracle.com then we will select financials since we are using release 13 of fusion instance so I'll click on release 13 click on administer click on get started with file based data import and as you can see what are the data objects that can be imported or pushed data into fusion cloud using a BDI process. So this is a long list. Here I am going to click on journal import since we are going to use journal import as our case study. Now I have to download the template that is Excel SM template. So let's click on this. The template looks like this and it has certain set of instructions that we have already discussed and here we have to click on this GL interface tab. Here we have to fill data and then we have to click on this generate CSV file to generate the zip which will contain the CSV data file. Alright, so now come to this GL interface tab. Here I have put some sample data. I am going to tell how I am deriving this data. First, the status code that should be new. The ledger ID, I have considered US primary ledger and I got the ledger ID from GL underscore ledger stable. All right, so let's get into reports and analytics. Click on new data model. Click on this plus icon to create a data set. Give it a name sample DS. Let's select data source as FSCM. Then write the SQL query select star from gl underscore ledgers where name like us percentage here i am going to consider the ledger us primary ledger now let's click on data select 100 and click on view now select table view to see the data in tabular format now I am going to consider this ledger. So let's take this ledger ID and as you can see the same ledger ID here.
here. All right. Now effective date of transaction. I have given today's day. The journal source. I have given spreadsheet. That can be found from the table. Let's edit this. GL underscore J underscore sources. Click OK. And click on data. Select 100. And click on view. Click on table view to see the data in tabular format and as you can see the data here it is spreadsheet all right so let's drag to the right side here it is all right next the journal category so we will get it from gl je categories so let's go to diagram edit the data source and let's write gl je categories and click OK. Now go to data, select 100, click on view, click on table view. Now let's scroll down and scroll down further. And here you go, miscellaneous. All right, next the currency code should be US that we can get from the ledger. Journal entry creation date I have given similar to effective date of transaction. Actual flag should be A and this is the code combination that I have given for the debit line and this is the code combination I have given for the credit line. How do we derive that? So let's go to diagram, click on this pencil icon and then give GL underscore code underscore combinations. Click OK. Click on data, click 100, click on view and click on table view. So here is the segments. So we have to select the proper debit and the credit accounts. Next, I have given the debit amount and the credit amount. Then I have given the batch name, which is basically reference one. Journal entry name, which is basically reference four. And I have given the same name. Next, I have given the group ID, basically the interface group identifier as double nine double nine. And that's it. Now I will go to this tab, instruction and CSV generation. Click on generate CSV file. So this is going to generate a CSV file for me. Click save. And then I'm going to save this Excel SM file generated zip and the CSV inside this folder. Click OK. So now I'm going to see the zip and the CSV file getting generated. As you can see the zip file getting created here. Let's click on this zip file and we can see the CSV file containing data getting generated over here. So this is how the CSV looks like, which is basically a comma separated values. So now close this. Next, I'm going to upload this zip file in UCM content server. So to do that, click on this navigator icon, scroll down, under tools, select file import and export. Then click on this plus icon, Click on choose file, select this zip file, click open. The account should be fin general ledger import, save and close. And as you can see, the file got uploaded here. So the next step is to submit the program load interface file for import. So to do that, let's click on this navigator icon click on more then go to schedule processes click on schedule new process then submit load percentage interface percentage import tab out click on search so this is the one load interface file for import Click OK. Click OK once more. 
here we have to give the data object name so click on this drop down click search click on this text box and enter import percentage journal percentage and give search so here it is import journals click ok the data file click on this and this is the one that we have uploaded very recently there is another option to skip the step of uploading the file in UCM server by navigating to file import export window but we can submit this program and while submission we can upload the file also indirectly this one will upload the file in UCM server and then it will get the document ID and submit this program so I don't want to do that now let's select the GL interface file dot zip click on submit and as you can see the process ID got generated and the program has got submitted click OK now click on refresh it's in running status it has kicked off another process transfer file it has kicked off another process load file to interface so both the child processes has completed successfully and the load interface file for input process has also completed successfully so let's look at the log click on the log so here we should be able to see the data has uploaded to the interface table successfully all right now the next step is to submit the import journals program to upload data from the interface table to the application table so let's do that click on schedule new process now let's search with import journals and tab out search here select the process click ok click ok once more and let's select the data access it as us primary ledger here it is the source should be spreadsheet as we have given during data entry in the template the ledger is uploading now let's wait us primary ledger group id we can give double nine double nine let's give all group ids and click on submit and the process has submitted with the process id generated let's refresh it's in wait status now running so it has kicked off the import journal child program So the child program has completed successfully refresh one more time yes now import journals has completed successfully as well now here we can check the log file of this and we should be getting the child programs process id now with that we will go to child program and click on this one more to see the output file let's click on this dot txt which is basically the output report file for this program and we can see the status is successful that means the journal entries are successfully imported into the application table so the amount that we have given as total debit and credit amount the create and all those details now let's get into the instance and verify to do that let's click on this navigator icon scroll down go to general accounting click on journals so let's select the data access set first select us primary ledger here it is click ok now click on this book icon here click on manage journals click on this search and let's select create as 11 
dash 18 and journal name starting with demo percentage 25 percentage let's click on search and as we can see this is the one that got uploaded today demo batch nov 25 triple one eight miscellaneous let's click on this and as you can see all the details that we filled in the template is appearing here that is all about a bdi process here all these steps are performed manually and exactly the same way the data is pushed to cloud during migration but if there is a requirement of pushing data to fusion cloud on recurring basis we'll have to go for automating these processes in order to reduce human effort time and cost of doing the same set of activities time and again it also makes the process less error prone so in the next videos we are going to automate the entire process of a bdi using web service invocation thank you and bye bye